Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Welcome to Monday. It is stream time. Ah, Alright, where am I? So, if you tuned in for Sunday's stream, or if you've been able to watch the recording of it, it was a hell of a stream. It was pretty fun. Uh, a lot, a lot was revealed. <laughs> I now know that there were two main factions on this server. The Horde... Uh, who are the guys that have kind of taken over the pumpkin town, but not the cannibal guys. And then there's another one. Uh, I forgot what the name was. I'll have to go back to the stream and see what their name was. But there's another faction as well. And they're kind of warring against each other. And then in the midst of that is the pumpkin boys, otherwise known as cannibals who aren't really a big faction, but they just kind of, you know, hang out at that pumpkin town. It was more, I was more interested in finding out about the two factions. The Horde actually invited me to join. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to join a faction, though. I'm, I still like the, the running solo most often and, you know, running with a small group now and then, but... I don't think I want to join a, a large faction type thing, but I do want to gear up a bit, maybe, and uh, defend myself against them, because they both, the one faction that I forget the name of, they just slaughter you if they see you. Uh, the Horde, they kind of do as well. They're kind of creepy. They do... I mean, I don't think the Horde is the cannibals. It's really hard to say. But they're, they're kind of crazy, too. I don't trust either one of them. But I, I feel being able to defend, defend myself against them might be a good thing. Yes, might be, might, be a, might be a smart thing to do, you know. Hello, Cheetah. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, we'll get a little warmed up here and then determine where exactly we're going to go and what we're going to do. I am kind of curious if any of them are actually on yet. I mean, I could get to Camby Wobo, <laughs> Combat Town, Pumpkin Town relatively quick and easy from here. Currently, the server is at medium population. Uh, it's still before noon where I am, so it usually starts hopping off. Oh, hey. Food and beverage. A little later on. But it's still, I mean, relatively good right now. It's like 30 people. That will go up as, as always. So maybe I can hit some of these, you know, a few of these buildings, hit the PD, and then journey down and scope out what is going on in Combat Town. Kambiwobo, whatever you want to call it. Or the whore. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, okay. We need some... We need to... We need to get a little height advantage here. There was a couple more than I was expecting there. Where is a car when you need one? To climb. Oh, come on. Oh, that'll do. That will do right there. There we go. Oh, yeah. But no stamina. That That's not helpful. Gosh darn it. Oh, come on. We'll do it from the greenhouse. Talking too much and not paying attention to what I'm doing. But as I say, perhaps we'll just work our way down a bit and see if the horde is about or the cannibal pumpkin boys. I don't know where the other faction hangs out. Um, they were they were a group of four or five of them were in a car last night. If you saw the stream, so I'm not sure where they they hang out. They had some pretty good weapons, so. I'm 
pretty sure they're they don't hang out on the coast. Where'd that would go. Hello, hello, Zed. Come back, come back and see me. Yo, yo, right there. At least they listen relatively, relatively well. All right. Uh, we'll take that too. Like I said, oh yeah. See if I could just get enough food. Yeah, and we have the potato. Well, we know how these streams go. I must find a potato, and I must make a human sacrifice, and it shall be a good day. So we're halfway there. We have the potato. Whoa! Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to scare the poop out of you. I don't know which one of us was more startled, you or me. <laughs> How's it going? You wouldn't by a chance have a blade on you. I need to peel a potato. It's like a ritual I do in my, my, my games. I must peel a potato. I will trade you some food for uh, a blade of some sort if you have one. Or not. No big deal. You're the quiet type. I get that. Okay, cool. Need anything? Need any food or anything? All right, well, I'll just move along and let you go back to being silent and stuff. But I really can't move along if you're standing in the doorway, so... Peace be upon you, brother. All right, well, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be a warrior princess cheetah, but dude didn't have a blade. That was, I think I really scared the crap out of them when I popped in the door. They just kind of like, ugh. They had a couple guns on them, but. They didn't choose to use them. That, that's yeah. That was that was a little strange. It's like, huh? Well, okay then. They were just like standing in the corner there. They probably heard me out talking to the Zeds in the greenhouse, and they were like, "Oh shit, somebody's coming. Somebody is coming. Ooh, Amazon is pulling up." Yeah, that means that is my new. HDMI splitter to make my streaming adventure even better. Ha ha. We will put that in place later. <sighs> I mean, that could have been my human sacrifice. I, I, but he had guns. I've only got my fists and I wasn't quite ready for that. Oh, hey, Zeds. Nice nice to see y'all here. Oh, hey, the Ossifer Patch Hat. Well, so far things are shaping up here. Look at this. Look at this. Ossifer Patch is in the house. Where'd he go? Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Oh. No, wrong room. Wrong room. Ah. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. Come in here, guys. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. Come on. You too. Ha ha. What? Oh, hey. I don't need the flashlight, but I will take the coat. Mm. 
Bobo. Hello and welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you this fine? Well, afternoon for you, morning for me. Hope all is well and well is all. We'll... Oh, why do I keep going back to the same room? Because I'm a little directionally challenged, all right? Why am I arguing with myself? I don't know. It's something I can do. Ah, headaches suck. I, I get headaches that I just totally, totally cannot stand. Not as bad as I used to. I used to suffer from migraines. Those went away. Then I started suffering from these back-of-the-head headaches that were just mind-blowing and would just take me out. After a couple of years of that, I found out I had two bad discs in my neck that were causing that. So I had neck surgery just several months ago to fix that. Pretty much took care of it, but I still get these occasional bad back-of-the-neck Back of the head headaches, not as bad as they used to, but they're, they suck ass, and I do not like them. I do not enjoy them at all. Oh, wait. I should go see if there's anything on that scaffolding next door, huh? Wrong side. Wrong side. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. There be a pistol, oh, a pistola, pistola. Oh, somebody else is here. I heard a door open and close. Oh, somebody's outside. I think somebody just jumped off that scaffolding. Or they jumped off the car. The pistol's still there. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Behind you. Don't don't be startled. Hey. Oh, is that you again from the house down the road? Yeah. All right. Peace be upon you. I think that person's gonna come back and bite me in the ass at some point. Damn it, no Meg. Ah. All right, I got enough food and stuff. I think it's time to head down the road to uh, Camby Wobo, Cammy Wobo, Pumpkin Town, Horn Hell, whatever the hell, whatever the hell that town is. And just go see if it's hopping today or not. Sounds like a plan. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, I am also for patch. I have a potato. I gotta find a. I gotta find a blade though. I must consume the pillow and a, not the pillow. Potato. Don't consume pillows. It's not that good. And then plus, if I get a blade, I can take out the silent dude if he continues to be around me. I don't like the silent types. I mean, they do say, no mic, no life. I don't always go by that. Sometimes the silent ones can be, you know, friendly. But that guy was just kind of creepy both times. 
Something about their eyes. They got the googly eyes, the juju eyes. They've got the eyes, but they didn't cross the T's. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe it's too early. Maybe it's too early. I don't know. <sighs> All right. I wish I had a knife so I could eat my potato. I must have my potato. I must put it in my belly. I must stop singing or else I will drive away all my viewers and subscribers. <clears throat> all right, back to reality. Ooh. I can, I can hacksaw my potato. I, I think that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. I'll peel my potato with a hacksaw. Hacksaw can double as a weapon. All right. We must appease the daisy gods. All right. I have consumed my potato. Part one of appeasing the gods of daisy is complete. Part two, human sacrifice, is next. Now, remember... We do not eat our sacrifices. No, 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 no. We are not cannibals. <laughs> Unlike the guy that I met last night that <clears throat> ate the nurse Zed. I will not get into that any further. If, if you haven't watched last night's Sunday stream, you, you, you should go click on it and, and watch it. It's, it. it's pretty eventful. Pretty eventful. Some, some strange things happened. All right, well. Yeah, and you got to obey the rules of the pumpkin patch. Apparently, Cheetah has dubbed herself they who write the rules of the pumpkin patch. <laughs> yeah, see, that's... I haven't... Oh, hey, look. Look what I find. Looky what I find here. Yeah, I haven't quite determined that. I, I, I'm not convinced the horde are not the oh shit are not the cannibals. I, I'm not 100% convinced. Uh, I think somebody already cleared that. Well, I don't know. The ambulances are still closed. That's a lot of zeds out there. Does this door open? There it does. Oh! Hey, guys! Crap! I may have bit off just a little bit more than I could chew here. Nah, I got this. I got this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, thank you. Ah! Okay. Uh, so far, nothing good. What the hell? Oh, hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Skill three, skill three, coming through, coming through. Yeah, I'm not convinced the Horde aren't the cannibals. I mean, the way they had that PD set up last night with all the lights and all the shoes and the doors all locked, funneling you to one area, I'm really not sure if they are or not. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. It's It, it was crazy. And I mean, if you were cannibals, 
the horde is a perfect name to call yourself, right? Denim skirt, t-shirt. I think this was picked over and they just didn't get into the ambulances because there's really nothing here. I think that door open. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wait. Oh, no, get up there, get up there. Ah, get up there, old man. Ooh, a truck battery. I'm not going to carry that around, though. Gas stove. Yeah, somebody hit this already. Whoa. Who just hit me? Oh, a Zed hit me up here? How the hell? Ooh. Well, that's, that's, okay. We'll take that. I even got some more ammo for that. That's good. Okay. Wait, what's this? Huh. Huh. A random tent. Okay. <sighs> this has just been a glitchy Zed that smacked me when I... between the cars and get stuck. I've done that before. That doesn't work out well. All right, well, guess we're going to have to see if they got anything in their pockets because that's a few too many of them to... I mean, I might be able to run down to the next building. But, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I guess we're seeing if I can run. Yeah, I got the stamina to get there. Holy shit, I'm bringing a horde with me, though. Holy crap. Holy crap. Ah, no clothes. Clothes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, one got in. Gosh darn. All right. Well, shit. Huh. Handcuff keys. Huh. Rope. I could tie someone up. I don't know what I'll do with them after I tie them up. Okay. Well, this will give me time to load this IJ70. Ooh, another M lock. No mag, though. Damage. That one's pristine. I'll get rid of the damaged one in a minute. Oh, wait, what's over here? Ah. I'd rather have the gun that that went with. All right. I mean, a 380 is better than nothing at this point. It is in decent shape, so that's that's doable. Okay. Uh, might as well have a wee bit of a snack while we wait. One growling sounds freaky. That was really freaky. <laughs> All right. 
I think I'm gonna make a run out to the car so I can fight some of them. Let's see if they got anything in their pockets worth worth gathering. Ah, it's Ellen DeGeneres, everyone, or Hillary Clinton, whichever one it is. Oddly, it's a it's a male zombie, but to me it looks like Hillary slash Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, there she is again. Looks a little different with the hats on, though. Aw, oh, my hacksaw's done. Oh, there she is. Wearing red sweats, too. Boy, there's Zeds everywhere here. Come on, come closer, come closer. I can't punch you out the... Ah! Close the door. So I'm literally like five minutes away from Pumpkin Town, Camby Wobo, Horde Town, whatever you want to call it. So... It won't take long to get there and scope out and see what's happening there today. I do remember the name of the one guy. His name was Luke. If you run into the horde, just tell him you know Luke. So, we'll see how that works. Get this door out of the way. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that, really. But that's okay. All right. Anyone got any full pockets? Pockets. Pockets full of goodies? Nope. All right. Oh, well, moving on down the road. Really? Okay, back down on the road we go. I know the one guy, the Luke guy, had like an English accent, so he's, I'm guessing, in Europe somewhere. I'm guessing he probably wouldn't be on currently. But we will see. We shall see what we shall see when we see the sea. sun going down I think it is <clears throat> what I'm gonna approach this town while the sun is going down great try to decide whether I should just rush in and or is it scout about and see what I can see I'm blind as a bat so don't know how well scouting around will do. I really won't be able to see anything. Then I gotta remember there is that dude somewhere back there. Don't know if they're coming this way or not. The silent one.
I might have to make a little video, like a five, ten minute video based off the horde stuff, you know, going into that town at night and finding the shoes and all that and then like cut into the big battle where I ran in with the two guys and then into the final. Because that was pretty cool, the, the horde and then running in with those two guys that I still don't know if they were part of it or not. But it was pretty fun. But as I am also for Patch, a uniformed patrol officer in Chinaris, I must investigate. All right, we are approaching the town of many names. The town of doom. What are we going to find today? Check out the pumpkin, the first pumpkin patches by this first house, and that'll kind of give us an idea if this is active today or not. It's quiet. Pumpkin patches are empty. Not a bit of carnage in here at all. Yeah, no pumpkins. Okay, there are Zeds up. I believe it's pronounced... Uh, can be Wobo, something like that. I'll show you the sign here in a few minutes so you can like find it on your, your map and such. PD door is closed. Not a lot of bodies and carnage like usual. God dang it, Zed got in. Gosh darn it. So far, the PD isn't full of carnage. Another M lock. I'll take the bridges. Thank you very much. Oh, well, a little bit of, I'll take those. Just somebody's clothes. Well, like I was kind of thinking, it is early, so it's not a hopping place currently. Really nothing here either, so. Oh, there's the first. First sign of human steak, but it's moldy. It's been there a while. I 
Yeah, hard to say. But I mean, all the pumpkin patches I can see are... They're all empty, every one of them. Or because some of those guys were European, they're just not on. They're just... Could go check the sniper area. Do a little, little end run around and go up and check the sniper area. After I hit these houses. And then figure out where I'm going from here. Because obviously... Well, I guess I could work my way down to Con Town and go in inland from there and gear up for the eventual shit show that will happen later, right? No ammo. All right. town is quieter than it's been in a couple weeks. <laughs> it's kind of scary, actually. I don't... Uh, oh, shit, I need more food. I'm going to run down to Con Town. Huh. Could use a mag for the M locks, too. I almost called them Glocks. Thickle, haha. -ha. I have a thickle. Not a mortar thickle, not an ice thickle, not a cream thickle, a thickle of thickle. <laughs> oh, and a steak knife. All right, things are looking up. Got some pokey pointy objects. I could replace the M lock right now because I really don't have bullets in them, so. There we go. Really don't need to have them on the quick slot if I don't even have any ammo for them. Eh, might as well take that. Ah, not the sweater. I want the bandage. Thank you. <sighs> How did he get through the freaking door? What in the hell? God. I can't take the bullets. I can't take the freaking bullets. Okay, hold on. Ah, screw it. Oh, I thought I closed the door. Holy hell. That's how he got through the door. I left it wide open behind me. Situational awareness. Patch situational awareness. Ooh. No rounds for that. That sucks. Okay, I could take that, but I couldn't take the bullets. What the hell's up with that? Alright, I don't need two M locks, do I? That's the one I'm going to take. This one, we'll just do what we do with guns we don't need. All right. 
All right, let's creep around. Oh, let's check out this one last house. Then we'll creep up to the rock and see if there's a sniper up there. If so, he's probably heard all the Zeds by now. You know, those geared guys that come down to the coast and wait for fresh spawns so they can shoot them with their sniper rifles and make themselves feel important. Right, need a quick drink here first. Somebody built a fire. Outside, see, there's a barrel here too. They had fires going outside, which makes no sense. Unless they were trying to light the place up like they were last night. I couldn't do this very long. What? What rounds does this take? 7.62 by 39. No, didn't think so. Didn't think so, okay. All right, let's creep up here and See if there's somebody lying in wait up here for freshy sniping. But so far I get the feeling that this town isn't isn't active yet today. Which is okay. It'll give us just time to run down the coast a bit. To our favorite place, go inland, perhaps get some gear, and then come back and see if there's a shit show going on. Yeah, there's nobody up here. You see why this is a good place where they, why they come here to snipe at the freshies? And I think it's pretty shitty for extremely geared guys to come and do that, but but still. It's what they do. Oh. Yeah. A random Zed. I thought it was a I thought it was a dude there for a minute. I was like, oh, speaking of which, here we go. Last, last piece of sustenance. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, look at that moon. That's pretty cool. Goodbye, combat town. Pumpkin Town, Town of Horrors. We will return. We will be back.
So they get down here to uh, what I call Con Town, cut inland from there, hit that TD up the road, the little military camp up in the hills, and then cross back over the map. We can eventually come back down in Camby Wobo area. And when we do, we may have some gear. Or I'm going to get shot in the back of the head before then and just respawn there. Anyways, either way. Now, all my talk about not fishing in this game and what happens, Cheetah and I go to try fishing last night and get jumped by some geared fools. And I never did get to finish my fishing expedition. But it was further proof of why I don't like fishing. Well, I'm hoping that this is the week. I am hoping that this week will be the week, by the end of streaming Wednesday, I hope, that I get up to 200 subs. Currently, I'm at 192. Just since the time I posted the stream last night and waking up this morning, I gained four subs. So, woohoo to me and thank you to those subs. Really appreciate everyone. But... 192. I've only got eight more to go. And I'm at my first big milestone. This road is so boringly long. I'd like to find some shotgun shells at some point. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, this. Damn it. I forgot the hacksaw broke. It just hit me. That's the first hacksaw I've picked up since I learned that you can use hacksaws to cut down the saw, the uh, double barrel shotguns. Thank you, my ball. Thank you. Thank you very much. God, this is. The Creepy, a lot creepier at night, too. Pile of bodies. Totally creepy. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh. Whoops. I, went, oh, I was going to say, did I go out the back door? That was a mistake. But I didn't. Uh, either way, the Zed still is on my tail. don't need a glow stick. I don't want a glow stick. Alright. I need to move along. I need some food. Can you do it, Zed? Can you get over that fence? Apparently not. Alright, well... I guess they're not a threat if they can't climb the damn fence.
up here at this group of houses that we'll be getting to is where the dock is that we were fishing on last night where we were so rudely ambushed. I don't like the dark. The dark is not my friend. And Cheetah goes to dig up another worm and comes running back on the dock and somebody just starts shooting at us. Shooting at us poorly, but they were shooting at us. Oh, hopefully these houses up here yield up something. I mean, I still, I still think I can make it to Con Town, at least. Oh, so excited today. After the stream is over, I get to go out and fire up my early birthday present that came over the weekend. My wonderful wonderful wife got me a pressure washer <laughs> I gotta fire it up today and do some pressure washing just because I can Yeah, when I was looking at the short, Bobo, I noticed there was like an additional three or four people at that car. So there's like a group of four or five of them. And I went running blindly into it like, oh, <laughs> oops. Yeah, right. A lot better than socks. What was that? Oh, shit. My dog is on the chair behind me dreaming, kind of going, ooh, ooh. And I thought it was somebody, like, in the woods right there. Like, what the hell? Oh. Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> that was awesome. It's like, wait, that's, that's, that's the dog dreaming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was going to start blindly shooting the bushes there for a minute. There's the dock that we were ambushed on while we were fishing. So rude. So, so rude. God, it's so dark. Holy hell. Ugh, I can't see crap. Yeah, like getting darker even. Oh, of course I jumped right over where the freaking Zed was. That was, that was good. That was really grand. Thank you. Thank you for that.
Yeah, this is this is crazy dark. I I can't see shit in here. All right, I just need to get to Con Town. There we go. I see the water tower already. Okay. Well, if I made a fire, other people would see me. Well, look at that sky. Really cool. Jalapeno on the stick. Why is... Sorry, one of my gaming buddies who never wants to play games is... <laughs> Texting me about a game that he never wants to play. <laughs> All right, do this my usual way. Hit the barracks first. Usually, if the barracks offer up some goodies, that tells you that the town may have some goodies left. Oh, I wonder... Oh, crap. I wonder if the battery is still in the PA system battery I put in yesterday. God dang, I is dark. This holy crap. Ah one one punch bleeds. Yep, I love it. God dang it. Love that one punch bleed. Well, this doesn't bode well for the rest of the town. I mean, stuff does respawn, but... God dang, it's so dark I can't find the doors. It really sucks because it's so dark. I'm going to run into one of these buildings and run into somebody and not be able to see them. And that's what somebody would say, well, Patch, why don't you use a light or a flashlight or a glow stick? Because then they can see me at a distance, which is worse. I won't be able to see them, but they will be able to see me. There's somebody about fighting Zeds. I heard them. So I can do this in the dark. Learned this last night. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
try that again. Ooh. It's hard to do that in the dark. Oh, crowd, the gates. That's why the gate. Okay. Just realized that. See, it's dark. I can't see. I could not see that the gate was wide open. The gate's wide open. That's not going to help. Can't believe I did that like twice and didn't realize the gate was open. Well, that graphic didn't work out right. What the? Oh, my. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Crap, I can't see shit. Hello. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Seriously. I told you I was friendly, you bastard. All right, well, that worked out good for me. Not so much for him. But I gotta get the fuck out of here now. I mean, seriously. What the hell? I must hide until I can see. So I just pulled that off blind as shit. Dude unloaded a bison on me. And like, miss. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. So, little do they know. The wonderful patch has ammo for that gun. <laughs> so I must have found somebody who's blinder than me or something because... <laughs> that all right let's we'll hang here for a few let's see we'll put that over there put it away give me some food ah oh, pear's bad damn it plum Ah, oh, another plum's bad. Oh, well. Uh. I, I, I totally thought I was going to be dead there. I mean, <laughs> I should have been. Really should have been. Oh, did I drop my... 
I must have dropped my pistol. How did I drop my pistol? Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I dropped my my uh, IEJ seventy after I shot him. That's that's really funky. Well, I'm still lacking in the food department, but I really don't want to go running around until it gets a little lighter. My damn stomach growling is going to give me away. Yeah, it's got to be when I picked up the bison. I had it in my hand and I grabbed his gun real quick. But, I mean, I traded a 380 for a 380, so. But this one's a little better of a 380. Oh, shit. That holds up to 64 rounds. Oh, hold the phone. Yeah, I dropped those. Uh, they're they're ruined. I believe I ruined them when I shot him. Well, holy hell! Fifty nine rounds. We'll take that. Should be able to hit something, right? Yeah, see, they're ru they're ruined. <laughs> yeah, I've never understood that. It's kind of weird that if they're ruined, they shouldn't show up. But that's just my opinion. God, I couldn't even see that guy in there until he started shooting. <laughs> yeah, stupid game. Stupid, stupid game. You, you, you tell it, Bobo. You tell it. You tell it how stupid it really is. Sometimes there could be a dead people around the water tower that jumped off. Hopefully I can survive until it gets a little bit lighter so I can see. Once, once my food starts flashing though, I'm going to have to go even if it's still dark. Oh, there's, look at that. That's how blind I am. I'm, I'm over here pointing this way. Then I just realize, oh, the ladder's, the ladder's right there. Yeah. People would come up that, not not over there. <laughs> well, there we go. I've had my potato and my human sacrifice. I just heard a shot. Was it a shot or was it something else? Oh, those are shots. Yep. Those are shots. I don't think they can see me up here if I'm laying down. And I don't even think they could hit me unless they got higher. But I guess we'll find out, right? If anyone comes up that freaking ladder, though, I'm dropping, what? I've got 59 rounds, so I'm dropping a shitload of rounds into them. I know that I, I agree, if, but it's in the game. I mean, I can't do anything about it. I think that guy was just shooting my uh, IJ seventy. It 
sounded like a 380. He probably went back to his body and picked it up. I have to pee, but this is so tense. <laughs> What's a guy to do? Use a cup. No, I'm not going to pee on stream. <laughs> Let out a stream on stream. <sighs> like a tree or a bush or something, like waving right off there in the distance or across the road or something, keeps waving across the ladder and looking like somebody's on the ladder. Do you guys see that right there? Is that just my imagination? It looks like something waving back and forth. I can't believe that guy didn't hit me with any of those shots. Yeah, it's a tree. I, it's, it keeps freaking me out, though. You know, blind me. Yeah, I am going to have to move here shortly. Move or risk starving to death on the water tower. Or an oil tank or whatever the hell it is. I know there's still somebody down there because I heard that 380 firing. The question I have to ask myself is where down there are they? I mean, I could force the issue, I guess. I don't have another fruit. See, I have nothing. I have nothing, nothing at all. Oh, yep, they're down there. That was close that time. See, they don't know if I have ammo or anything. And my health has started to dri drop now. But that last shot was like really close, like, like possibly right down downstairs.
And they can probably hear in my stomach and <laughs> Well, yeah, that's my plan, but there is somebody very, very close by. Like right down there, I heard the gunshot. They're trying to lure me down. And I'd be a sitting duck coming down that ladder. So I can hope that they try coming up the ladder. And they could, oh, they see, they could get up on that building and take a shot. But if it's at 380, I don't think they're going to hit me from up there. But if they have anything other than that 380... I could still be a sitting duck. Hey, seriously, if they shoot me with that 380 from up on that, that building, it will tell me how poor the gun physics in this game are. Well, I don't, actually, I don't think they can. I don't think they can get up on the roof. They can get up on that little awning, I think. They can get up on that sluice way. But still, I don't think they'd have, I don't think they'd be able to hit me with the 380. Right, but if they are right down here somewhere, once I get on that ladder, I'm dead. Decisions, decisions. I mean, either way, I got to. I mean, they're going to die up here or die down there, right? All right, I am flashing. I have got to go now. Need some vittles. Oh. 
I am making a lot of noise between my stomach, my health. Ah. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Freaking battery. Freaking battery does me no good. My health is tanking. That's really weird. I just had a notification that a Xbox friend joined my session, but it was an Xbox friend name that I did not recognize. That's kind of odd. I have very, very few friends on my Xbox friends list, so. And it was totally a name I didn't recognize. So let's see if I die shortly. <sighs> Unless I starve to death first. It's not a full-blown meal, but... Help when you need it, right? I really need my health to come up a bit. I can't limp around like that. Well, I didn't add any of them. I mean, they could have added me, but... I thought X. I, I don't know if Xbox works that way. If they can just add me and then they're considered a friend, but it's a name name I did not recognize. I'm gonna look at the Xbox app here real quick. Oh yeah, my health is friends. They're not on my friends list. Huh. Oh, yeah, they are. Who the heck is that? Not sure. Maybe it's my, maybe it's my stream tormentor. All right, I got to move. I need food. I need food. Oh, yeah, I'll be on for a bit, Bobo. A couple more hours at least. Go do what you got to do. Oh, I will. You have fun, too. Or or don't, either way. Thanks for coming by for the stream. I always appreciate your support. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
I'm gonna need some water. Oh, my health is flashing miserably. Holy hell. Holy hell. Ugh. That was a good time to bake rice if I have ever seen one. Never thought I'd be that happy to see a bag of moldy, hard rice. Okay, I'm disappointed in my viewing audience. Somebody should have busted out with rice, rice, baby. Okay, that should help my food go up pretty good. Really don't think I can move, though, until I get my health back into yellow if I can. Oh, there we go. It's up to red. That's not going to take long. <laughs> yeah, tell me about a delinquent. But it's all due to food. I don't know if you were on to, to see my little gun battle in the dark, but... All because of food. That That's it. Guy that shot at me did no damage to me. And he gave me this nice bison in, in return for dancing with him in the dark. going up and I can get to the well <laughs> my stomach is so freaking loud really needed to add some water to that rice to get it to expand Well, my hunger is still going up. Still got, what, four, three or four, yeah, three arrows, so that's that's good. Oh, yeah, my, there we go. My hunger is back in the yellow. Health should come up to yellow now shortly. It's amazing what a bag of rice can do. Oh, shit, and as I say that, the hunger starts dipping again. I got a waddle. I need more food. I need more food. This may be the end of patch number one. To be replaced with a better model, patch 2.0. I 
I just heard somebody. Somebody had their mic open and made a sound. Did you guys hear that? Kind of like a <laughs> sound. I know I definitely heard it in my headset. So am I. I'm really hungry. I knew someone was out there. I'm about to die, either way. I wish he'd come running in the door so I could at least take a shot before I die. Oh, it's been coming up. I think he just missed it. I was talking to somebody earlier, so. See? I'm not long for this world, man. I'm no threat. I'm just a starving old man. Hey, Jello, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you here, my man. I've uh, appreciated your support and your comments. Thanks for the helmet, brother, but I can't eat that. Kick the shit out of those Zeds, man. He's not going to come in. I'm going to die before he comes in. I mean, I could just rush out the door and start shooting, but I'd be limping out the door.
No, I do not. <laughs> no matter what, this is going to end shortly, so... Well, screw it. I'm going out, standing on my feet. Hey, brother. I can't shoot for shit. I can't move. Oh, I was going to start shooting through the damn door. He left me food on the floor. Did you see that? I just saw. He left me freaking food on the floor. Damn it. I was going to start hosing through the door to see if I could hit him. And as just as I had the thought, I looked down and saw the food. And then the Zed. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Dude was actually going to help me out. Oh. Okay. I'm going to take a quick five while I run down the hall, refill my water bottle, and uh, take care of a couple other quick housekeeping duties. Hopefully y'all stick around for some more uh, whatever it is we're doing here. Uh, I would say fun and excitement, but I'm not sure if it's that or not. But I'll be right back in about five minutes. <laughs> All right, we are back. All right. Oh, hey, we're right outside Con Town. That's where I just died. Let's go see if there's anything left of my body or the guy who I was trying to rudely kill who was giving me food. And maybe I can extend my sincerest apologies for shooting at him poorly with 380 rounds. But that figures. That I mean, that that really figures. Walk in, dude's trying to actually help me. Yeah. 
Hello in there. Oh. Hello, you still in that room? <laughs> yeah. Sorry I took shots at you, man. I see the food on the ground. You were trying to help me. <laughs> yeah. My my apologies. Oh, you you could have kept that. You you're earned good, it fair good. and square. <laughs> to die so might have to use your bullet i'll go for it all right i would go <laughs> okay i don't know what all that was about <laughs> what the hell uh. Uh, i'm Sometimes confused by this game. Sometimes I'm confused by the, what goes on in this game. I tell ya. I mean, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, somebody else is coming. Somebody else is coming now. Uh, I don't put the server live in the chat. Um, if you uh, friend me on uh, Xbox, uh, Patch KO, I can send you the uh, the info that way. That was that was that was different. I'm <laughs> just Yeah, there's somebody out there. Okay. We've been here before. This time we're in better shape. Oh, I won't be. Like I've said, it'd be fun to play with, you know, some of my viewers. I don't think they can see me through the window right there behind the bed. I think I'm good. Well, that was a pretty strange interaction. I mean, I'll take it, but it was kind of funny. He threw me back my gun and... <laughs>
Okay, I'm a lot lot better off than I was last time I was in this exact same situation. Definitely heard somebody out there, so. Well, I really don't want to stay in here all day, though. Thank you for your assistance. Your sacrifice will be remembered. I mean, I know there's somebody else in this town. I heard them hitting Zed, so. They're not in too bad a shape. Well, I've been doing some scouting today. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw last night's stream where I discovered that, that there are two factions going on on this map and or on this server. And it's a virtual shit show. So I've been doing some scouting today to see if I can... Uh, find them and see if they're they're active today or not really not doing a lot of seriousness at the moment Oh, it was a it was a pretty good stream, man. It, <laughs> there's there's some freaky shit that goes on, some funny crap. It, it, it's some craziness. Oh, that's weird. Must be something in your settings. I mean, not like you have to get notifications, but uh, I, hell, I get a notification from my own stream. I get an email the instant it goes live. Live on your channel. It's like, well, yeah, I know. Uh, it's my channel. I'm, I, I know this. Couple of friends. Hey, I bet that's... I bet that was mine. I bet that was the one that was in here. Oh, there's the dude. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's ruined. Uh. 
Oh, the battery's gone. Oh, uh, one of these is the dude I... I killed in here earlier. It was so dark, I'm not sure, but I think it might have been that one. Oh, here we go. Don't sneak up on a brother. Time to beat feet. I think we're going to do a quick rifle through here. All right. Ah, I got a piece of food. I'm in the white. We're going to cut inland now. It's time to get this show moving off the coast. Give me a sec to catch up on chat here. Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you. I, I, I think I turn off notifications for every one of my subscribers, even my wife's. <laughs> I just go and look and see when they post something. I don't watch a lot of live streams anymore, so. Today, I haven't made it inland anywhere. I mean, I've made it all the way up to Tizzy in the past. Tizzy, is that the name of it? Northwest Airfield, then Tizzy. I just, it's been a couple weeks since I've actually even tried to make an inland run. Worth shit. Once I started finding all these factions and stuff going on on the coast, it was like, there is so much excitement, you know, going on the coast that it's almost not worth it to go inland. I know from a, a viewer standpoint, running inland with nothing going on, to me, would be pretty boring. So I was trying to keep to the coast for a while, but now that I know these factions are, oh, hey, another uh, IJ-70, uh, I'm thinking I want to go in and try to get get some gear a bit. I have had some good interactions in the past running inland. Oh, all right. Oh. All right, let's call these cattle up to the slaughter chute. Take them out and empty their pockets. Alright guys. Thank you for lining up nicely like this. Next. You. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Come on. There you go. See, you can't come past that line. I draw I draw a line in the sand and they can't cross it. Yeah, I accidentally found that and now I use it all the freaking time. It is only on this scaffolding. I've tried it on many other scaffoldings and it doesn't doesn't do it. It's just this one. All right. Uh, we can take those. I don't think that bag's any better than the one I have. I don't think. 30. No, they're exactly the same. That's okay. Nothing else? Wait. Nothing else. Well, that's a bummer. 
That's a bummer. I go go back. Oh, check the garages. <laughs> but back to you, back to your question about how far inland I've I've made it is whoever was asking. Oh, there it is, delinquent. You know, I've gotten up to. Cheat and I running several times on official servers. Got up to like the Tizzy area, Northwest Airfield. Solo, I've I've went up there a lot of times as well. And but like I said, it's been a while. I might start heading up there today. And I know definitely on my birthday stream, there's going to be some definitely, definitely some. Hardcore inland runs on that stream. But I think with all these factions going on on this server, I definitely need to start getting some good guns and stuff. The fun little lat litter, fun little interactions on the coast have been good, but. I want to get me some, some good old PVP loving. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's really weird though. I prefer solo overall. I mean, I, I want people to come by on my birthday stream and do some running with me. I had fun the last couple, couple streams running with a couple people. I do like doing it now and then, but also the, the challenge of doing it solo. is really cool and I, I my personally have never been a gilly guy i think gillies are kind of philly <laughs> i don't like that they take away uh, so many pockets and storage and I found them now and then, usually at a, actually usually at the convoy that spawns up, up this way. That's something I've yet to do is uh, get to the bunker on Livonia. Another thing I might try on my birthday stream is getting to the bunker. And that, that no, see, that would be a reason to run with more people. So, really don't have a severe plan in mind for the birthday stream. It's literally going to be, I'm going to get up and start streaming and stream until I drop and... Hope people come by and jump on and join me and cause some chaos. Shenanigans. Uh, one of the one of the uh, factions last night had a car, which I hadn't seen in quite a while on a official server was a car god I gotta go back and look at this stream and see what they were called I know the one is the horde I forget what the other one was uh, it does have 
don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Crackers. Okay, let's get rid of this. So I hear my own footsteps there? That was freaky. That was... I'm already getting a full inventory again, damn it. Need a better backpack. I gotta get in with these houses up here and sort through my crap. There's a long stick on the ground, so somebody was somebody was through here. Somebody was through here. Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't found one in ages, so. Let's see, that one's damaged. That one's damaged, too. But you know what? With, with having the bison, I don't need e either one of those. I'm not going to go through the 50-some rounds in the bison extremely quickly. So I think I'll get rid of those. That was a hell of a throw. Hey, get out of my way. wet out there. Well, what are the cars doing in the forest? That doesn't make it easy for me to find. And here's the stupid YouTube saying my bitrate is slowing down. So if you get some lag, I apologize. Still haven't figured out yet if it's our internet, which it shouldn't be, or if it's YouTube. But we have good gig internet, but it's been having problems the last couple weeks. And Comcast has been in the neighborhood working on stuff. And it always seems to be like, they're doing the work when I'm trying to do a stream. <laughs> and it's like, you, you assholes. <laughs> and it actually caused a couple of my streams to crash and I had to give up streaming those days and was not very pleased with that. They supposedly came and fixed it, but... Oh, there. Uh, and now it's saying my bit rate is too high. Jesus Christ. That's got to be YouTube. That can't be my internet. That's got to be YouTube. One second saying my bit rate's too low. One second saying it's too high. <laughs> That's funny you say them hiding it in the woods because when I first started playing Daisy. Even when I was playing on modded servers, I would spend my time running through the woods. I wouldn't run on roads, establish trails or anything. I was so afraid of other players and PvP that I spent hundreds of hours hiding, running through the woods. Never found a car then either. The only time I've ever gotten vehicles myself was on uh, uh, modded servers. Me and Cheetah actually had some fun with some vehicles on modded servers, but... 
Yeah, I know. I think YouTube intentionally makes it hard for people to stream and stuff. Or they they uh, make sure their bandwidth is going to a pipeline to, like, you know, people with high, high subs so they get all that ad revenue. Little channels like mine, they don't care about because it's not a revenue stream for them in any way, shape, or form. So... So right now I'm at the shit end of the stick. More reason to go sub if you haven't subbed. Let's get Patch off the shit end of the stick. And some YouTube respect. I forgot to look when I uh, took off for my break to see what the uh, server population level was. It probably, by now, it should be full server. High population. Whoa! Did I not close the door? Or is there a second door? I can't remember. Is there a second door in this one? I'm pretty sure I closed the door. Oh, there is. There's the door right there. God dang it. <sighs> well then. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the mistakes that can literally bite you in the ass in this game. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I appreciate the kind words, Jello. I'm really enjoying doing this, and I love watching the numbers tick up. To me, that's loot. You know, watching get a new subscriber. Hell, I got four new subscribers overnight, and I woke up ecstatic. So. Hell, it's raining. Why not? But I consider the, the views and the subscribers my loot. Another sharp pointy object, that's helpful. Oh, you know, I need to equip my sharp pointy objects and just, God dang it, there we go again. One hit bleeds. God. Tired of that one hip bleed shit. I'd like to do more of, uh, I mean, I, I love doing the live streams. I have fun doing the shorts. I would like to do some, you know, uh, not streams, but Oh, I don't know what they call it. Just regular old videos, you know. Re take some of the footage from different streams and combine together and make, you know, 15, 20 minute long form videos. Because there's a lot that goes on in the streams that are boring. And I want to do some other games too and do, do some commentary video of other games and maybe opinion videos. In fact, I have a goal. When I get to 200 subs, I'm going to do a commentary video when I, when I give my, my comments on the state of gaming and what some of the big game developers are doing to gamers these days. And at the same time, do it where my face can be seen. A face reveal will be my... I can't really say that's a gift to my subs because <laughs> it's my face, so it's really not a gift. But just kind of as a a cool little thing to do is do a, a commentary video showing my face. But my editing skills are subpar. So all of that to say my editing skills are, are really not 
top notch. Yeah, I've done a couple, and it, like I said, it's the editing that I struggle with a bit. Is But as my partner in crime, Cheetah Chick, will tell you, uh, I have an opinion on pretty much everything. We, uh, we joke that I go off on Gettysburg addresses when I'm delivering my opinion about something. And I have a lot of opinions about various games and the state of the gaming industry and what developers are doing and stuff. So, and since my channel is Patch K&O Gaming, not Patch K&O Plays DayZ, doing some of those commentary cell videos would be kind of fun. Ooh. Some fight lemonade. Fight lemonade. I'll take this hoodie for later, I think. Ah, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. So... I have a love-hate relationship with Rainbow Six Siege. Um, so, that's part of my gaming history is one of my favorite PC games when I was a PC gamer years ago was the original Rainbow Six. The original shooter on PC. And then I've loved other Tom Clancy-ish games in the past and everything, you know, Ghost Recon and stuff. So when Rainbow Six came out... Oh, shit! Ugh. So when Rainbow Six came out, I dove in and I did not like it at the very beginning. Uh... Played with some friends back and forth and gave it a go now and then. And, and I got a bunch of hours into it, but nothing huge. Still, meh, don't really like it. It's not quite what I was hoping it would have been. And I'm a big disliker of the games that lock you into different characters and operators and things. It's one of the reasons I'm not uh, playing a lot of Call of Duty anymore or Battlefield because of the whole locking you into a, a character. I'd rather be, you know, choose between classes and then my own character. I mean, and I, I wasn't too bad at Rainbow Six Siege. It's just, I don't like that, you know, uh, that's what one of my videos is going to be about is game developers trying to lock you into characters, what they want you to play as, what they feel you should play as. And with the, uh, the amount of character creators in these games out there, you should be able to just determine who you want to be and how you want to play and not be locked into something. Yeah, exactly. Battlefield 4 was great. And then, you know, it started going going south. With, I mean, Battlefield 1 was okay. But then when they did Battlefield what 5, whatever the hell the World War 2 one is, they just started going downhill. And then, of course, 2042. I, I have a lot of hours in 2042, but I, I just won't go back to it. They kept tightening down the characters, tightening them down. Call of Duty, same thing. Playing as an operator. And... Battlefield 1 wasn't bad. I actually like Battlefield 1. It's still, it's still a great game, I think. They had the great balance of the mechanics... destruction and everything gunplay there is a Z on the oh, is there a Z on the shed or is it the guy who shot at me on the shed
and I, I, I still love Ghost, uh, <laughs> Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's still a great game. Breakpoint. Eh, <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with it. I have a lot of hours in it, too. Try to think. It could be the I might be the guy that shot at me up on the shed. Oh, the division! I have shit ton of hours in that, and actually had a really good group of friends when the original division came out. I mean, I got like fifteen hundred hours in the first division. Uh, the division two have a hell of a lot of hours in too. Those are great games, but. The Division 2 just became so damn redundant over and over and over. The same redundancy. And by the time The Division 2 came out, my band of merry guys I used to run with kind of weren't around anymore. So it was almost impossible to do raids. Because that's another one of my, my pet peeves is these games that give you these awesome raids, but don't give you matchmaking for the raids. You know, Destiny, Destiny 2, The Division, Division 2. Even Ghost Recon Breakpoint, it had the awesome raid. And then I think that was the only good thing really about that game was the raid. But no matchmaking for the raids is it pisses me off. And De Destiny is another one that I have so many hours in, so many hours in. And then by the time Destiny 2 came out, you know, same thing. I didn't have my group to run with, so couldn't do the raids. And I mean, God, Destiny 1, the original raid, was so fantastic. I think one of the best raids like that in a game. Uh, I don't think I ever got to do the, the raid in Destiny 2. I, none of it, because I never had anything to run with. I owned the game on three different platforms and never And then uh, Division 2, I luckily got in with like a clan. I was able to do the raid, uh, the first raid. I think there's like two raids now or something like that. The first raid, the, the one through the airport, one time. One time. Never got to get an eagle bearer. No, I, none of that shit because I can never find anyone to run with. You know, there's that whole part of those games that I never got to touch and get some of the good gear because I can never find anyone to, to run with. And then, like I said, that could be, that's one of my Gettysburg addresses is what these developers do. It's, eh, why? <laughs> why lock a gamer base out? You know, there are so many people. I honestly believe there are more solo players, lone wolf players, than there are people that run in groups. And to lock out the lone wolf solo players of, out of content just because you don't want to put in an easy mechanic of matchmaking is bullshit. I get the whole they want you to communicate and everything. But if somebody is serious about doing a raid, they're going to communicate. I, I, well, th that kind of goes back to my editing. On my channel, I have what I call my video game resume, where I try to highlight some of my games I've played over the years. And those ones are mentioned in there, but there's a lot more. But I screwed up my editing, and I didn't even notice until after I posted it that I had cut out a bunch of games and a bunch of hours. So my, my little gaming resume is not the whole thing. I need to redo it. But I mean, the original, the original Destiny, I'll have to look and see between the two platforms what my exact hours are, but I put a lot of time into that. A lot of time into the first division. Uh, I have a friend that I play games with occasionally, try to get him to play this game, but he never does, that we met playing the original division uh, in a raid. How I'm trying to remember how how we met, how we got I got like picked up as a random or something, or I picked somebody else up as a random and he was in it. And like at the critical part of the raid, uh, try to remember which one it was, what stage it is. 
oh god i can't even remember what stage it is it's like a you're fighting an apc or a tank or something it's been so long and you have to run around and you got to push a button and do all this shit there's a place in the middle well right in the middle of like the most critical part of this this guy we were playing with just stopped just stopped wasn't doing anything and we're like dude dude what are you doing he's like i spilled my wine i spilled my wine all over my my girlfriend's coffee table book oh my god it's the collector's edition she's gonna be so pissed but right in the middle of the raid he just stopped playing and we failed miserably and long story short but we started running the dark zone together and you know that was back when the division originally came out and he's still my buddy today in fact my wife and i just sent him a, a gift for they're having a baby but we've been running together that long Yeah, the, but those looking for... See, that, that was the other thing. I think these developers should put those in their games. To have to stop in the middle of a game, use a secondary app to post a little ad to say I'm looking for a group. and It's too cumbersome. They can do it. They can put it in their damn game. <laughs> you know? We, we'd run in the... He's a, he works in Hollywood in the film industry and... He uh, travels all over the world, and he went to uh, Greenland once over the holiday season, and he finally came back, and he has long flight from Greenland. He was totally tired, and we're running in the DZ together, and we had all kinds of gear. I mean, some really great loot. <laughs> we're, we're at an extraction, and all of a sudden I look, and his character is spinning around in circles, shooting his gun in the air. And the gun just ran out and his character's still spinning around. And I was like, what the fuck? Well, he ends up dying. I get killed. And he's never there. I finally run on into him the next day. I'm like, dude, what happened? He's like, oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he fell asleep. And if you remember the division, that whole when you're pushing your your stick, your camera stick in one direction, how your character just spin around. He literally was doing that for five straight minutes. It was like, oh my God. Now he's still a good buddy of mine today. Getting him to play a game though is tough. He's he, he won't play the division or not not the division. He won't play Daisy because he thinks it's too hard. All right, I can't sit in here all day. I know this guy's out there. You know, he keeps trying to get me, he keeps getting me to get in different games. Like, he got me to get Hell Divers. I tried it, it's okay. Seems too repetitive. He got me to get Dragon's Dogma 2 because we played uh, Elden Ring together. I say we played it together a little bit. He's never even finished a complete playthrough on Elden Ring. I mean, he's only like a quarter of the way in, but never comes back to it because he didn't like the, the clunky co-op. Uh, I'll get games he wants me to get to try, and then he'll never play. <laughs> it's like, dude... <laughs> Oh, dude, I tell you, I, starting Elden Ring was a slog, but man, once I got into it, that game is insane. It, it is one of the, I, by far one of the best games out there, in my opinion, especially for the genre of game. It, it's, it's intense, and it is. It's a slog, but it's one of those ones you do it over and over and over and over until you get it, and then you cheat. I mean, I have literally, Cheetah will tell you, I have literally jumped up and screamed at the top of my lungs, yes, let's go, because I finally killed the boss that I tried 150 times. I mean, so rewarding when you when you do something. All right. Yeah, Elden Ring's what hooked her into gaming. All right. Well, let's see if I waited him out. Am I going to walk out the door and get hosed? Who votes for I'm going to walk out the door and get hose? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I raise the hands here. <laughs> yeah, I had never played a Dark Souls game until I played Elden Ring. So, yeah, here we go. Hold on to your cookies, y'all. Ah, fucking fence.
Well, he's not too far. He's it within six minutes. Oh, I will get shot. We know that will happen. Now, if I was him, I'd be hot footing it for the PD. So I'm not going to do that. Do I have any? Oh, I've still got a little food. Okay. I might just totally skip the PD and everything. Go see if the uh, convoy's in place and run up the hill to that little military camp. All right. Well, yeah, go go do some work. I appreciate you popping by, though, Jello. It was nice actually getting to talk to you instead of just you know sharing comments with you. Uh, I, I appreciate the support and hope to see you again. Here, man. All right. So either the guy that took the shot at me didn't have any more ammo, or he just beat feet. Zeds are up here. Come on, over the fence. Over the fence. Come on. <laughs> oh boy, Bobo. <laughs> I said he beat feet. Do you like to have your feet beat or do you like to beat feet? My thinking is that there's so many Zeds up this direction that they haven't got this far yet. At least that's my hope.
Okay, does not look like the convoy is here. Oh, but there are military Zeds. So does that mean the convoy was here? And got cleared? Not sure what that means. Or do the convoys despawn after a certain time if you don't clear them, leaving the Zeds behind? I'm not sure. One of those, one of those series of questions that I ask myself and I have no answer to. Because that was a random military Zed just chilling. I don't think he would have followed somebody from the military camp. Oh. That might be somebody up at the military camp right there. Weird, I've, my screen has kind of got the blood loss, I mean, not quite as vibrant as usual. Almost like I have a little blood loss going. Oh, I mean. I'm down like one drop. I'm not in yellow or anything, so it shouldn't be discolored. It really seems to be discolored. Yeah, there's somebody. I can't tell if that's up at the camp, though, or if that's further. Shit, I still haven't gotten a good pair of pants. Or my shoes. Oh, they're okay. Did this once before like I'm doing right now and I was talking, chatting away or something and I totally missed the curve right there. So I kept walking through the woods this way. Totally missed the camp. I mean, I kept walking for like five minutes and I was like, uh, where the hell am I? My screen just seems a little grayer than it should. I really wish I had a scope or some binoculars or something. Let's see a blind man patch can see anything up here at the at the camp. See what there is to see. creep around through the bush. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's not like they can hear me in game unless I <laughs> unless I hit my uh, mic button. So I guess whispering really doesn't do much. 
But then again, if I talk low, I can hear better, I guess. Oh yeah, no, the in-game in chat's working. I don't see any Zeds up. Oh, hey. Oh, no, there's a Zed right there. Whew. Holy crap. He blended in good. Wow. See, I'm seeing a gray to my screen like, I ha like I'm, you know, in the yellow on blood, but I'm not in the yellow. So he blended in really well. Lexi, welcome to the, uh, the stream. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all the Zeds are up. Okay. All right. Any vests? Any vests? Any vests? Try to make this quick. I don't want to stand up on this box too long. Oh, is it time to change from Ossifer Patch to Green Beret Patch? Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Where'd the guy go? Holy crap. Lay down, Patch. Lay down. Shit. The Zeds all ran off after him wherever he went. I don't know. I I thought I saw him like right in this area. Zed did get him. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Holy shit. Is he uncon or is he dead? can't tell by his position if he's dead or not. That's a real unnatural looking position though, isn't it? Oh crap. He's got a buddy. There's his buddy. Oh, what he what angle did he get me from? What angle was that? Damn. Couldn't see where the where the angle was on that guy. I mean I saw his I saw his head pop up there on the left, so I backed up and I thought I backed up far enough that he couldn't hit me, so 
because he didn't get up on something that quick. So he must have just had like the perfect angle right there. There were two. I was but one, and now I'm none. Going to take a quick two, three minutes, run down the hallway, refill my water bottle, let the dog out in the backyard. And that's, that's the cue for somebody to sing. I'm going to go let the dog out real quick. I'll be back in like two or three minutes, three-ish at the most. I hope you stick around for more at the stream. Uh, somebody could go get some snacks for us all, too. I mean, nachos would be good, tacos, maybe some wings. I'll be back in a couple minutes, guys. There you go, Jello singing for us. Wait, I, th I, I thought you were doing some work or something, you know, work. Did you give that up? I'm that entertaining. But back to that, yeah, I thought I was in far enough, but he must have had... Hey, pumpkin guy, you, you a pumpkin guy? No, you're not from Pumpkin Town? Okay, why the violence? Y yes, hang your head in shame. You don't know me, I could be a nice guy. Yeah, you should go pout by that tree right there. I'd go sit on the ground and pout and think about what you've done. Well, no, you're supposed to sit. Sit in shame so I can point at you. Sit in, sit in shame so I can point at you.
Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, oh. I don't know who that was. Oh my God, yes, I do know who it was. I'm going to wake up with no clothes. No, Nope, they killed me. Never mind. I was wrong. For a minute there, I thought my, my troll was here. <laughs> shame, shame. Ugh, all right. I got my liquid lunch in the form of nutritional shakes. Ugh. Streaming food of the champions. Well, we are close enough to uh, Pumpkin Town to make a run down there and go see what be what be shaking there. Since it's afternoon, Pumpkin Town should be should be all all crazy town. <laughs> well, they violently ran up and hit me. That's shameful. There, there's no reason for that in this day and age. Well, okay. Except in Chinaras, because... I mean, to give them credit, if they wouldn't have ran up and hit me, I probably would have ran up and hit them. Wait, did I take a long turn? Where is the PD... <laughs> It's over this way. There it is. There's the PD. And there we go with the one hit bleed again. My God. Yeah, it sounds like they're outside the front. They probably hurled themselves off the building. That would be my guess. Do they have any. No rounds. This place is going to be empty. Anything on the scaffold in this time? Negative. Negative. Oh, yep, there they are. They hurled themselves off the building. They couldn't handle it. Really? Oh yeah, I hear. They're now, they're now in the building. Somebody's down there fighting. Them. 
Okay, they're in the building now. I heard the door. here do they have a gun oh there they are hello up, hello how goes it oh it goes pretty well how are you oh could be better been a bad day with runs oh, I see I see you scared the shit out of me Sorry, did not mean to do that. <laughs> I go, now you gotta go running past to see a man up here with a shotgun on his back. Yeah, it I'm has. Try to kill me, are you? No, no, I'm a friendly old fart. All right. Well, I suppose I'll be less aggressive looking. <laughs> That'd be appreciated. I'm just getting ready to head out, anyways. I see. I see. You wouldn't be responsible for the man outside, would you? No, I think he hurled himself off the building, getting a new spawn, I would think. Oh. Okay, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, there's quite a few aggro zombies outside, so uh, careful with all that. Yeah, I'm going to run like the wind. Peace be with you. Yeah, you too, man. Sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it, I'm not gonna mess with them and go. I don't think his scorpion had a mag. I couldn't tell, but still. Still. He had a kind voice, he did. Kind of sounded like a seventh grade math math uh, classmate I once had. All right, the exact same stuff that was up here earlier today. In other words, nothing. I forgot I have my nutritional shake sitting here. I got so worked up about that guy. Let me park in the corner here and shake it, shake it. Yeah. All right, one shake down, half my lunch. Another armband. See, there are, there are lots of people creating armbands. So. So the factions may be... <laughs> factions may be activated. We will know when we get to... Uh, what is it? Camby, Wobo, whatever the hell this place is. If we can get there. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why I always do this. I, I'm such a person of habit that I always run down the road here. And then run back in at the other end where the little police substation thing is. Why Why I never just cut through. 
is beyond me. Creature of habit I am. So why don't I just cut through this time? Probably have just enough hunger and hydration to get to the town. Oh, that's my piece of paper from earlier when I... Wait. I don't want... Nope, nope. The new rule. No rubber slugs. Though I am holding a shotgun. I can't hit shit with the rubber slugs. Yeah, god dang it. It's still something though, right? I gotta learn I gotta learn to shoot with the slugs, so we'll, we'll do it. I just gotta be precise with them, that's the problem. Okay, well, something, not much of something, but it's, it's something. If I can hit them center mass with the slugs, I can at least knock them over for a minute and then go all fists of steel on them. Don't, don't ask what I'm doing. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not sure what that was all about, but... But as I was saying, as most of you know, I've had piss poor luck with this specific shotgun with anything other than buckshot. It's hard enough with this shotgun with even buckshot, but slugs or the rubber slugs i have has caused me a lot of pain, despair, agony, and death. one is sending me a message I believe and I must check Ugh. Okay, I was incorrect. It was not my little one. It was my little one's mother. <laughs> but it was about the little one, so I guess that counts. Making sure she has her password so she can log into her Pokemon games. She doesn't... My my 12-year-old, almost 12-year-old, 11-year-old, does not like bothering people for technical help or anything. So we found out that she's been logged out of her Pokemon Go for like quite a while. And I forgot this weekend to log her back in. So I had to let her mom know to log her back in so she can play her Pokemon game. But 
But it seems like she only sends the messages like that when I'm in the middle of something like a stream. It's, you know, exes can sense when you <laughs> you don't want them around, which is always. But a free coat. I shall take it. All right. We are approaching Combat Town, Camby Wobo, Pumpkinville, Horde Village. Whatever you wish to call it. Now, let's see, it was like, what, 11? 11, 11.30 when we were here last, so it's been a good almost three hours, so let's see how it's changed in three hours. Sorry. Okay. I like when they ask a question, you start typing the question, and they then find the answer. <laughs> it's like, oh. All right, so let's see how this town has changed in the last two and a half, three hours. When we were here last time, there were not bodies all over or signs of human consumption of humans no pumpkins so we shall see oops we shall see if i can find the door okay it does not look like they've started replanting Negat negative on the pumpkins. Which is kind of good in a way, because it was really slowing the server down the closer you got to this town. It was getting leggy as hell. Oh, door is closed. Oh, there are bodies. Here we go. Oh, Zeds. Ugh. Back door, most of it. Ah, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, it sounds like the roof might be uh, might be stacked with some bodies. Yep. So is the sniper back? Oh yeah, there's bodies everywhere. This may mean that the sniper is back. No food, of course. We're back in that boat again. Well, 
hear Zeds, but I don't hear people. But the flies, I can't hear shit over. All right, drink my, my second shake here real quick before I move. The way those bodies are on the roof, I'm thinking the sniper was at least here for a bit. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that, Bobo. I have never heard that. But I need food. Can't sit around here dicking around all day. Oh, somebody has cleaned out all the bodies. So if it was at least Sniper, he was then coming back down and cleaning out the bodies, but... I never knew that about spawning and always facing north either. have a thickle. I just like saying thickle very weirdly. Really wish the pumpkins were here. <clears throat> but the question is, is that real knowledge or are those old daisy wives tales? Like the whole uh, clouds always go east or some shit like that. But, ooh, hey. That is another one that I'm not sure is true. Oh, I don't need a I don't need a knife to open that. Nice. Nom, 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 nom. Little pork. Everyone needs a little pork now and then. That didn't sound right. Everyone needs a little canned pork right uh, now and then, right? All right. Nom, 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 nom. Car battery. I need a hat. Hey, I said I need a hat. Thank you. Well,
Well, that one body there, that one jumped off the TD. I can tell that. I'd like to find a uh, pack of pumpkin seeds and restart this the pumpkin fields. It's just, I mean, literally, it's really sad that all the pumpkins are gone. Eh, that's enough water. I don't want to be a sitting duck for too long. It's sad that the gardens are gone. All right, so I think I'll loop around, go out onto the main road that way and work my way back. That's what we'll do. See if we get sniped. Meat tenderizer. That'd be good if I had some meat to tenderize, but... I guess it would make a good mealy weapon. I'm not gonna bother with it. Let's go out here, hit the main road, and work our way back. Oh, uh, I thought there was a Zed down, it's a car. Not a Zed. Nothing to see. I don't know, there's all kinds of videos that I see that say things like that. I, I've never really paid attention, though. I, I don't know if it's true or not. I've never taken the time to pay attention to... Ooh, hey. Errors. Saw that helmet as I was running up to the window and thought it was somebody crouched in there. <laughs> I was about to have a heart attack. Well, all the Zeds in town are partying right here with me, so. Come on. Thank you. Not a guy dying thing. Oh. I said a 
quite a ways away though. Didn't sound too close. I'm not too worried at the moment. I could go back and get that car battery and yell at people. The last time I was in this town and I made my presence known with a megaphone, I got sniped. So probably not going to do that. Not the dress, but the bullets. Oh, we will take that back and fill it up at the, at the well. That will come in handy. How are my shoes? Oh, they're still great <clears throat> well, yeah this isn't my original character today that's why the shoes are still great I keep forgetting that I did perish at that military camp Shitty throw. <laughs> terrible throw that was. Just a terrible, terrible throw. Oh, shoot. Somebody's shooting a 22. Somebody's shooting a 22. <laughs> Where were they? How good of a shot are they with the twenty two? Is what I want to know. They got something bigger than a 22 as well. Oh, they're going to be coming in in a minute. Right, that's two different guns.
Hey, welcome, William. And since you're since you're here, to your last message, I must just have a, a voice very similar to your buddy because from that last message, I'm definitely not your the guy you thought I was. <laughs> Either that or I had a severe traumatic brain injury and I don't remember any of those people. <laughs> but welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Okay, there's a Z right outside, so the guy's not making a push yet. <clears throat> well, not from that game, I would say. I mean, I've been playing, I mean, God, I mean, some other games I've played, The Division, The Division 2, uh, used to run with a bunch of people in The Division and The Division 2 and Ghost Recon Wildlands. And then I even go back further than that. I mean, I go back to even before consoles, playing on PC, playing some old naval simulations. That's where I thought I may have known you from when you were talking about the the one uh, gamer tag you gave me. There was a guy that had something similar way back in the day, playing on PC, playing, uh, was it Jane's Hunter Killer 688 and Fleet Command and the original Rainbow Six. Yeah, that wouldn't have been me. I think the most I played for in uh, Sea of Thieves was like four of us total. And it wasn't for very long. And let's see, their their gamer tags were Sasselhoff, Taz, Donkey Toes, and Carp. Or Carpomius or something like that. So I'm sure this guy knows I'm in here. He was like right outside. Yeah, actually Taz on Xbox. Uh, Oh, we called him Taz. I can't remember exactly what it is. Taz, Tazio. He was an English dude. He was, uh, he was from England. But he was on Xbox. So I'm wondering if these are part of the horde guys from this village or if there's somebody new. He's got to know I was in here. I mean, he was really close there. Ah, Bobo, this one was from, uh, from England. He's like a landscaper in England. His wife hated him playing games with us because he, he played on our time, which was, you know, the wrong time over there. He'd play with us for hours and then have to go to work all day and then come home and play more and was always a zombie. He was, it was hilarious. Hey, no matter what, William, I, I'm, I appreciate the sub. I'm glad you're here. So, you know, may not be the guy from the past, but... What was that sound? That almost sounded like somebody rattling a door handle, but you can't do that in this game. But that's what that sounded like. Okay, I can't stay in here forever. Oh, he's back. 
He's right out there. I know he is. Well, let's try this. Hey, are you part of the horde? My man outside, are you part of the horde? Now that's actually hilarious because my little one, when I was playing with these guys was, I mean, she was, she was little. <laughs> I started playing with some of them when she was like eight, nine months old. And that actually happened once with me. She was sitting on my lap, uh, but I think we were playing the division and she ripped a big one that echoed through the mic and they all loved her. That was how they all met her. <laughs> my, my little one. And it cracked them up so much that the, the guy in England sent her teddy bears for her birthday and stuff. Hello, my friend outside. Are you part of the horde? Or are you a pumpkin boy or a cannibal? Well, they're not talkative. Oh, kind of thinking maybe I'll run out and run for another door. For another building, I should say. It's pretty cool when things like that happen. You can get a good group of people running together. I mi I miss the uh, the crew I used to run with. It was we had we had a lot of fun between like the division and the division two and Ghost Recon Wildlands. But over time, all faded away. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I don't have anything to lose. Well, that did not go as expected. I was expecting to get shot right there. gonna make a run to the PD again and see if that's where they've based up Yeah, exactly. Oh, politics came on board. Yeah, you know, I think that's part of what happened to us, too. Which is a shame. I, I don't give a rip what people's beliefs are. I, I come on here to play games. You know, this has been my lifelong escape from reality. And when it starts getting politics involved and 
you know, people's real life beliefs that draw <laughs> drive people apart. It, it just it becomes too toxic for me. I, I'm here to play. I'm here to have fun, here to escape reality. And who cares what people believe or don't believe? If you can hold a controller and poke buttons, you're a friend of mine. That's that's how I think it should be. Well, this could end poorly here, but this was part of my goal was to find these guys again, so we'll see. Come on, climb the fence. Jesus Christ, Patch. <sighs> I'm wondering if the rifle was the sniper back. That's hilarious. <laughs> I would have remembered that name for sure. Well, the door is open still, so. Hmm. Curious. Where did the guy with the twenty two go? <laughs> That's hilarious. So I wonder if the guy with the rifle is up here in the sniper's nest. We'll check that again. I don't think we checked that since earlier today. they go there was a guy with a rifle and there was a guy with I think probably a silenced mk2 maybe but where are they where are they oh i do have ah oh shit i need to fill up that water bottle i do got some food and water so i can make a journey out of here Unless they were just shooting at each other and they weren't shooting at me, it's possible. I'll be sad. I mean, I'd rather them be focused on me, not on, you know. It's rude if they're not focused on me, right? Gosh, dang it. I forget. There's a sniper nest up on the right there, too. Or left. Right, left. That other direction. They should all recognize it's my stream and focus on me. As I say that, I'm going to get sniped.
Oh, hey. I'll take a stab vest. So they pulled the stuff out of the PD and dumped it over here. I just heard static, like somebody's mic was open. Ah, God dang it. Oh, I see gloves too. <laughs> there, there it is. There's the snipe. <laughs> there it is. Well, on that, it's been three hours and 40 minutes. That's my roughly my average, especially for a Monday. I have a, well, like I said earlier, I want to pull out the new pressure washer and give that a shot today. But as usual... I will be back uh, streaming tomorrow. I'm sure Cheetah and I will be on playing off stream tonight. If you find me on Xbox, maybe you can join us and run with the Cheetah Chick and I and cause some mayhem. But Oh, and if you would like to find me on Xbox and haven't yet, it's Patch, P-A-T-C-H, capital K, capital N, capital O, Patch K-N-O on Xbox, and run with us off stream if you want. Until the next stream, tomorrow about 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, have a good one. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for all the support. I appreciate each and every one. If you have you not subbed, I'd appreciate a subscription doesn't cost you anything helps an old fart out makes me happy and makes me sleep at night take care uh yes bobo i will answer my message <laughs> if you send me a message and we're on we'll play with you